Alright, so sli slightly different setup than usual for today. Uh, the girls are sleeping and my wife's out of town. So when we do that, the girls sleep, uh, we all sleep in a tent, a little pop-up tent that we have in the living room. And uh, that's where I normally shoot uh, these kind of videos. And also my big camera, the Sony uh, A6300, uh, I left that at the office. I haven't wanted to run with it in my run commuting backpack. Um, so I kind of just have left it there. But I did want to show you one thing today. Um, so right now I've got the GoPro set up on a, my little ledge in the bathroom. Left work a little bit early today. Fortunately, work slowed down quite a bit this week, which is good since my wife is out of town. And if I'm gonna get any runs in, it's gotta be when the girls are at school. So it's gotta be at a time when I can leave work early. It was starting to look like I would have to take like three, four days off of running in a row because of my work and home schedule, but things are working out. So. Today I'm running a little bit further south. I'm coming up Roosevelt. A little bit winded because this is the last hill of the Chicago Marathon. I don't know if it's meant or what, but it's not that big a hill, but I'm a little bit winded. And uh, if you just go down that way, that's the finish of the Chicago Marathon. I'm not gonna go that way today. I'm gonna head over to the planetarium, maybe grab a selfie, and then uh, head home from there. I'm not exactly sure how far it's gonna be, but from the planetarium to my house, the way that I normally take along the lakefront path, that is about a six and a half or seven mile run. So, I think I'm not maybe eight and a half or 10 miles for the day. It's windy out, but nice and warm. Very sunny. Just past the turnaround point. That's a planetarium behind me. I'm gonna run by the aquarium. Field museum's next door. Soldier Field's right over there. This is all part of museum campus. Gonna head home from here at some point. If I stop and uh, have a little bit of a snack and, and some water, but other than the extreme laziness today, it should be a pretty easy run. finished the run. According to Strava, I'm at 9.1 miles, 8 minutes, 10 or 11 seconds on average. Who knows if that's correct. I think uh, Strava gave a little and took a little bit today. Definitely shorted me in some places, but it was also generous, kind of like the GPS track went zigzaggy a little bit. So I have no idea, but felt really good out there. Opened it up on a couple spots. Had some really good strides, just felt, felt really good today. All right, so sli slightly different setup than usual for today. Uh, the girls are sleeping and my wife's out of town. So when we do that, the girls sleep, uh, we all sleep in a tent, a little pop-up tent that we have in the living room. And uh, that's where I normally shoot uh, these kind of videos. 
and also my big camera, the Sony uh, A6300. Uh, I left that at the office. I haven't wanted to run with it in my run commuting backpack, um, so I kind of just have left it there. But I did want to show you one thing today. Um, so right now I've got the GoPro set up on a, my little ledge in the bathroom. Acoustics are great. I mean, it sounds great to me. I'm, I'm kind of trying to talk quietly, so I don't know if you can hear me that well. But um, the thing that I did bring today was... Oh, I forgot it. Hold on. This is something that I've been waiting for in the mail for a couple of days now. Put it on. All right. I don't know if you could see it. This is a shirt I got, ordered it from Nike.com. I tried to go to the Nike store to order it, uh, to buy it the other day, but they didn't have any in my size. Um, it's a Nike t-shirt. It's got the swoosh right here, finisher on the side. It's got the uh, Chicago Marathon, the 40th anniversary logo, and it's got one on the back. Not sure if you can see it. Um, this shirt's a little confusing. It's They call it a t-shirt, um, but... Um, it's got a little bit of dry fit-ish material, so I definitely think I can run in this. I don't think that'll be a problem, uh, maybe not on a super long run. I could definitely take this out on a run, definitely can use this on an under layer. Um, very excited, fits great, so I can take that off, because uh, I'm going to keep this one. And then some other things that I got in the... Um, so I got a couple other things in the mail too. I ordered a new pair of um, running tights. These were pretty cheap on Amazon. Dry skin, I guess is what they're called. They're like a, like a black on gray fake camo color. Um, once it gets a little bit cooler, it's really warm right now, but I think um, very consistent with the, how the weather is in Chicago. This week it's in the high 60s and 70s. Next week it's gonna be in the 50s, low in the 40s with frost. So I'll be able to use that next week. And then the other thing, and then the other thing I got is from my mom. Um, I told her about you know how I felt after the marathon, and um, she immediately went out and ordered me like a box of vitamins. That's, that's what Asian moms do. So um, my daughter just kind of woke up, so I gotta go. I think I got too loud here, so I gotta go take care of them, and uh, hopefully they'll go back to sleep because it's still the middle of the night.